Hi, today I'm going to be teaching you how to sidechain. So basically sidechaining is ducking down one sound by triggering it with another sound. And there are a lot of ways you can sidechain your tracks. Uh, you can use third party plugins like uh, LFO tool or uh, Kickstart. But today I'm going to be teaching you two ways how to sidechain only using FL Studio plugins. So here we have a kick and a sub bass or a bass. And I'm going to play uh, the kick and the bass and I'll walk you through it. So here we go. So in a context of a full track or a full beat or a song, if you have instruments that play on the low end, what what's going to happen is you're barely going to hear the kick pop out through the mix, depending on what kick you choose though. Sample choice is also a key factor to this. So in order for us to prevent that and to make our kick pop out through the mix more as we use side chaining. So we go over to our mixer. Here we can see that we have our kick and our sub bass. So we want to select the kick and we go over to this arrow right here. We right click it, select side chain to this track. And from here, we want to select the instrument that we want to sidechain uh, in this case which is our sub bass we open up fruity limiter so let's stretch that out so here what we want to do is we don't need to touch anything on the limiter section we go over to the compression section over here is our sidechain channel we right click it we select our kick so from here what we want to do is we pull down this threshold and I'm gonna play uh, the track again and as I play the track I will turn up the ratio and we should be getting some side chain going on so pay attention to the visualizer here as you can see uh, the sub bass gets stuck down as soon as the kick hits so this is basically side chaining so you can go up a more uh, up with the ratio more so the sub bass gets stuck down more uh, basically the volume of the sub bass gets stuck down more uh, as soon as the kick triggers the compression so you can play with the knee knob as well it gives a little bit more punch uh, on the compression but for now let's just do this so depending on uh, your taste uh, whichever you need for your track or your beat you're gonna have to play with the attack release and sustain knobs so what this does is you're gonna adjust the duration of the compression of how long do you want it to be uh, with more attack the faster it is with less attack uh, the slower the compression I'm sorry uh, it's the other way around so with the release uh, you don't want to really uh, put down the release uh, too much because that's the that's gonna distort your uh, bass uh, your sub bass or whichever instrument you're gonna sidechain so you just need to uh, play with these knobs and make sure it fits with your uh, track so that's one way on side chaining uh, on FL studio so I'll show you the second one so let me just uh, turn this off real quick so what we're gonna use is instead of using fruity limiter we replace it with fruity love filter and this is uh, this is one of my favorite side chaining techniques uh, using this plugin and I'll explain it to you why I love this so much so over here we have our preset uh, previous preset next preset we right click it uh, over here we have volume and panning over this special section so we click volume and panning and we have our Y Y knob here uh, this is uh, the X knob is for panning left and right and the Y knob is for the volume so I'll just show it to you so basically the Y knob controls the volume of the sub bass what we want to do now is 
we go over to our tracks we uh, highlight this section so we go back to the love filter we right click on the Y knob we select create automation clip so from here we have our automation clip pop out so what you want to do is you want to shape your uh, compression to the kick so you just draw on the automation uh, shape it to the kick oh, let's make this uh, let's do this so it's uh, shape it like that you just want to shape uh, how the waveform of the kick looks like so you don't need to shape the tail you just need the punch so that the base will duck down on what this looks like depending on the shape the base will uh, sound like this I don't know how to explain it better but you're gonna see uh, in a bit okay so we put that on every kick and let's play it so here you can see that the base gets stuck down depending on the shape uh, the reason why I love this uh, technique of side chaining using fruity love filter is is that it gives me more control and I get to shape uh, the side chain on what it looks like uh, you can also uh, bring this up a bit so that it won't uh, compress the sub too much so you can hear the sub uh, punch through with the kick but you can also bring it down to completely cancel the sub uh, as soon as the kick hits so it gives me this technique gives me uh, a little bit more of control so yeah that's basically it now you know how to sidechain if you want to download new sounds head over to certifiedproducers.com for all the latest sounds that you can use on your beats also if you want to work directly with us click the link in the description below cheers